Come on, make your brain think, right? Come on now. OK, so you have measure, um, or you have MLN, and then you have uh, other angles is going to be Y, YZX. All right? And what we want to do is we want to be able to determine the measure of X. Now, you guys can go ahead and write your corresponding parts. That's what I told you. If you get kind of stuck on this, determine what angles are con um, corresponding to the other angles in the other triangle. But one thing I notice is I have the measurement of two angles, right? But I don't have the measurement of the third angle. But by applying the third angle theorem, I can now say that 51 degrees plus 65 degrees plus the angle, or I'm sorry, the measure of angle N is going to equal 180 degrees. Right? By that third angle theorem, I know I can figure out that third angle. So therefore, 50 um, plus uh, 51 plus 65 is going to give me a hundred or 100 and 116. Then I subtract 116 on both sides. And I get the measure of angle N, I guess I could use a capital, is going to equal, well, what's 180 minus 116? Yeah, it's going to be 64 degrees. OK? Now, we know that measure of angle N has to correspond to measure of angle X, right? Because M already corresponds to Y, and L already corresponds to Z. So therefore, these two angles have to correspond to each other. Therefore, I can write the equation 64 equals 4X. Now, to find my value of x, I can just divide by 4. And we know that 4 goes into 40 10 times, right? So that'd be 64 minus 40 leaves you a remainder of 24. And 4 goes into 24 6 times. So 10 plus 6 is 16. Or you could just divide 64 by 2 and then divide it by 2 again, and you'd get 16. Same way. Cool? Yeah, you could also have written the equation, since you know that that's 51 degrees, and that is, I'm um, sorry, that, that's 65 degrees, and that's what, uh, 51 degrees? You could also say, well, I already know that from corresponding part, or from corresponding parts, right? So you could say 65 degrees plus 51 degrees plus 4x equals 180, which is the exact same mathematics I did over here, but it's just in one simple equation. And then just solve for x. You could do that as well. Okay. All right.